Uh, hello, this is Abby from the FLLD department. Um, I'm so happy I took the treatment cell discovery course started by Professor Stinson at the Tonga University. Um, firstly, I, um, uh, to be honest, while going into the course, I wasn't particularly enthusiastic about dreams. Um, there was an element of surprise and kind of mystery uh, surrounding dreams, but it's only once uh, we started the uh, dream group and uh, analysis of dreams, um, uh, I discovered that uh, dreams have um, such a hidden layer of wisdom about them, and uh, they can relate to our lives in such profound ways. Um, and this has led me to kind of give dreams, give my dreams the, uh, the importance that they deserve by kind of writing them down and reflecting on them at the end of the day um, and kind of uh, seeing how they fit in with my life. Um, to be honest, uh, I, I feel lonely and I'm sure a lot of people feel lonely and they look for others um, for advice and kind of mm, getting the straight path. But I think um, after this class I realized that um, dreams can give us a moral support and that inner wisdom because as a dreamer, you know, our subconscious mind really knows um, us the best and it can give us the most correct advice that is suitable to us through the uh, mysterious language of dreams. Um, moving on, I would just like to thank Professor Stimson for um, having this course at our university. Um, because I feel like there are very few courses like this that focus on uh, um, self-development self and uh, uh, that actually allow us to be in an interactive environment and um, just say what we need to say and are therapeutic in nature. Um, a lot of the classes are in our department, not to talk bad about anything, but it's just a lot of uh, lectures and just, you know, uh, people falling asleep on their desks and just completely losing interest in, in subjects. Um, for example, I was enrolled in a, a course uh, called Environmental Science and I took this course because I was very interested about the environment, but uh, the professor ended up giving us so much homework and just um, so many assignments that um, it's the end of the semester and I'm just happy that course is done with and I'll never have to um, deal with environmental science anymore, so basically the passion for that subject has just been diminished within me. However, with dreams, I did come in hoping a lot from this course, but I just got so much out of it. And um, I mean, even after this course is over, I think I will read books about um, psychology and dreams. Um, also, um, I got to know my classmates so much better through this course and uh, everyone opened themselves up in a way that um, uh, it only happens when you are like friends with someone you can talk you can talk to them at such a deep level and this happened on a daily basis in our class where everyone kind of uh, communicated their innermost feelings and uh, I just think this environment this classroom environment should be encouraged and we should have more courses like this that um, help us be more creative and uh, help us develop ourselves from within and to, to not put so much pressure on students that they just uh, lose interest in the subject that they want to study. So just to sum it all up, I'm, I'm very grateful and very thankful to Professor Stips for having this course. Uh, thank you. Does anybody want to say anything? These awakened ideas, anybody? No? Well, what you say is true for me, too. I, I went to 
I went to Duke University and I was just crazy about nature, about biology and botany and plants and the jungles and the Caribbean. I discovered new species. And by the time they finished with me, they killed my interest, you know? And uh, so I think what you say is very important. No one's ever said that in all these years I've been making these videos. No one's ever said that. It's not a function of education to dump more and more knowledge on the student. People have the internet. They can learn whatever they want to learn. It's a function to encourage the interest that's there and awaken it. So I think what you said is very beautiful. Thank you very much.